Now to those new developments in the Ebola crisis and those two men now fighting the deadly virus in U.S. hospitals. The patient being treated in Texas is now receiving an experimental drug as President Obama announces plans to step up passenger screenings both overseas and here in the U.S. ABC Cecilia Vega has the very latest. Joins us this morning from Dallas. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. That drug that's being given to the critically ill man here, it is a real experiment. There's not even any data to suggest that it even works on animals yet. That struggle, it's not just here in Dallas. This morning, there are two Ebola patients fighting for their lives in two American cities. This morning, two Ebola patients fighting for their lives in two American cities. In Nebraska, the latest American to arrive from Africa for treatment on U.S. soil. Video journalist Ashoka Makpo landing in Omaha Monday morning wearing a hazmat suit as he walked off the plane and headed to a hospital quarantine unit. His family saying he may have contracted the deadly virus in Liberia when he was helping to disinfect a car that someone had died in. He looks strong. He walked off the plane gingerly, waved to us as we saw him from a distance. You know, is tentative and frightened. Now, two nurses by Mukpo's side at all times. His vital signs taken around the clock. Whether he will get experimental drugs, still unknown. The CDC says the drug given to American aid workers Dr. Kent Brantley and Nancy Wrightbull this summer has run out. I begged him, please don't go, but there was nothing to do. He was determined. In Dallas, doctors saying they started administering an experimental Ebola fighting drug over the weekend to Thomas Eric Duncan after his condition worsened. The drug has never been tested on humans until now. Theoretically, they may make a difference, um, but it's still experimental medicine. And this morning, another diagnosis, the first person in this growing outbreak to contract the disease outside West Africa, a Spanish nurse in a hospital near Madrid who treated a missionary who died from Ebola, is now a patient herself. Highlighting the danger of the disease spreading not only in poorly equipped West African clinics, but also more sophisticated hospitals. This, as officials here, hope to temper fears and keep this virus contained. We don't have an outbreak. We have one event that is being handled properly. And we know the hospital workers who treated Thomas Duncan here are being closely monitored. Same for a handful of other people who had close contact with him. So far, George, the good news is no sign of any symptoms for any of them. Thank goodness for that. Okay, Cecilia, thanks.